Welcome to Amici Kart. In this video, we shall show you the different buttons and modes of the Amici Kart 80 decibels long range wireless doorbell and how to configure the different buttons as per the different modes. So make sure you stick till the end of this video. To begin with, the receiver has three buttons on the left panel. Up top, we have the confirmation button, below which we have the tune changer button, which cycles through the 32 preset tunes. And finally, the bottom one is for volume up or volume down. It has an Indian style two pin plug that would connect to your power socket. In the box, we also provide a double sided adhesive tape, which you may put on the back of the transmitter and stick it onto your desired location. If you want a permanent mounting solution, we also provide the two screws inside the box, which you can use and permanently mount, again, as per your desired location. The transmitters have a rubber sealing inside, which makes it weather sealed if and when used outdoors. If you want to change the tune, then first you would need to press the bell button on the transmitter itself which starts playing the default or the previously selected tune. Second, you need to press the tune changer button or the middle one on the receiver which helps you select your desired tune. Important point, if you don't hear anything then please cross check with the volume button on the receiver. If it is low, it won't emit any sound. So once you're selected with your desired tune, you need to press the confirmation button and make sure you listen to this confirmation ding. This confirms that the tune you chose has been selected properly. So that's how you configure a single receiver and a single transmitter. Now we shall show you how you can configure dual receivers with single transmitter. We first need to pair the transmitter and both the receivers individually. These receivers have a memory function, so it will remember the previous tune that you have selected, even if it is unplugged from the power socket. Next, you may also use it in a dual transmitter single receiver mode. And here's how you can configure that. So all you need to do is to configure the two different transmitters or more whatever the case be at your end using different tunes and then use it at different locations of your place or with different people whatever the case be. This mode becomes particularly helpful if you have a need to control one receiver from two different transmitters maybe different locations or maybe two different people in your house. So that's it. Now it's completely up to you how you want to use the device and in which mode. We have more such amazing useful products to choose from which you may check from any of the links in the video description. And if you're new to our channel, please do consider a subscribe. Give this video a like and share the video as much as possible.